And now we're going to discuss the backflow anti-siphon valve. This is a, an expensive commodity when it breaks and it floods or it freezes uh, because it's not properly protected. So Jimmy's going to give us a briefing on uh, how to shut these off and uh, how to protect them from inclement weather. Well, thank Jimmy. you, George. One thing I want to point out first is this is a cover that anybody can go get at Star Nursery or Lowe's or Home Depot. It's very inexpensive. The other alternative would be to put a fake rock over the top, but this is very inexpensive. It's, it's very well insulated and you can see it just slips on very easily. It has a little latch on here where you can put a zip tie or you can actually put some sort of a lock on it in order to keep it from being removed. Underneath you can see that it's wrapped very well with the uh, pipe uh, tape and the, and the foam under here. These are your shutoff handles. The water comes in from either, it comes in from one direction and then goes out the other to your valve box and sometimes these crack under here from the cold and if the heat gets on the pipe right here, it can also cause damage to the pipe. So on this is a little notch and if I just simply turn it where it looks like it's cutting the pipe in half, that shuts off this side right here. If I turn this one where there's a little notch to where it looks like it's cutting this pipe in half, this is off. So this, if you have a leak in your irrigation, your valve is stuck on, or if it's continuously watering where it shouldn't be, this is an easy way to shut this off. This will only shut the water off to your irrigation without having to go to the street and shut it off. So when I turn it back on, I'm gonna turn it very slowly because I wanna give the water time to go through the pipe and not be so abrasive. And then I'm gonna turn this one back on very easily to allow the water to go back to the pipe. This is an easy way to shut it off. Whether this is leaking or the valve is leaking, this will stop the water waste at your property. One other thing that I wanna talk about is hose bibs on the house. Similar devices that go over the hose bib, you can see that it's exterior to the house. The temperature go, goes below 32, it's gonna freeze. And a way to prevent that from happening is to buy one of these little, little bonnets that go over it. They've got Velcro tape. Real simple install, just goes right over the valve like that, squeeze it together, and now it's got to get considerably colder before it'll freeze that pipe. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions about property management or maintenance on the property, call a licensed contractor like we use or give me a call. I'm at 792-8077. Thanks.